Ever have any of your playing companions tell you that your swing path is off? I'm Dr. Eric Wilson, Kaiser University College of Golf, Executive Director of Golf Operations, PGA Master Professional. I'm here to tell you today how to change your swing path if it's not working for you. Number one, you have to understand what the swing path should be looking like and how it approaches the golf ball. The path is that direction the club travels from about this position in the downswing through the ball in that position in the follow through. So ideally, the club has to move from the inside of the target line, which is this red line here that goes straight to your target. It travels from the inside to square and then back to the inside on the way through. Now we've got a little training device here called the golfer's footprint. If you can find any out there, buy them because I don't think they're being made anymore. But it's got an ideal uh, directional indication. Come on up here, we'll take a look. Just shoot that from this side shoot down on it and what I'll do is show you that outside in is this green line because it's traveling from outside the target line which is the red arrow to the inside of the target line the red line is the one we want we want the ball or this club traveling from the inside of the target line square and then back to the inside of the target line this is one of the best training devices visually that you can get for club path so how do we do this we train Number one, I'm a big believer in the fact that if you can't do it small, you can't do it big. And if you can't do it slow, you can't do it fast. So there's a circle that you saw up here in the yellow area. That's where a golf ball would be. I would set up and take the club back slowly and small. And then I would just direct it down that red path. So that I call this running the red line. So the club coming through is going to be traveling from the red line through the ball. From the inside, from where this club is now, it has to travel to the inside, down the red line, square, and then back around in a circle. That's the proper club path. Now, it may not be the, play, the path that you end up with. You may play with an outside-in path or an inside-out path, for that matter. Mine's more inside-out than it should be, but I'm trying to hit hooks, and that helps me do that when I put that path in relationship to the club face that we talked about in the previous video. So change your path, experiment with it, find out what works for you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us here at the College of Golf. And please be sure to sign up for the YouTube channel. See you next time.